Hey everybody, this is David Schooley with the Big John MMA Fight Club. And obviously I'm sitting here with Big John himself. We're sitting in the Extreme Couture Gym, as you can see the logo behind us. We just got through talking to Randy about some of his predictions, but as you know, John doesn't do predictions, but he can give you some really great insight on all of these matchups. So, John, we're talking about Invicta. Invicta is an awesome league. You've got all women. They come in and bang just as hard as any of the men. We've got Invicta 4 coming up, right? Invicta 4 is coming up. Shannon Knapp has done a phenomenal job of just building Invicta and, and getting people to realize that it's a really quality show with quality fighters. And a lot of people don't, you know, they don't look at women and think that they can fight where, you know what, there, there are women out there that can't fight, but there are women out there that can. Same oh, yeah. as there's men out there that can't fight and there are men that can. But the girls that are fighting in Invicta, they are very talented, they're very technical, and that's why it's an interesting show. It's that they do have good technique and they are doing the same things that any man is doing in any of the other big shows. And I'll bet you a lot of those men out there don't want to tangle with these girls. <laughs> I, I don't want to get in the ring with these girls. They're tough. Uh, there's some very tough girls here. You know, the, the girls that are fighting in Invicta, again, they're, they're professionals. Yeah. You know, they take this serious. This is their job. This is what they do for a living. And so when you take someone, people have this concept. They think oh, they understand what it's like to, you know, uh, you know if they were going to fight with a real pro fighter. They have no concept. Right. And when you look at the girls that are from Victor, they're professional fighters, and these girls can fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about a couple of them. Um, uh, we've got some good matchups coming up. We can only cover a few of them, but we're going to cover a couple of the top ones here. We've got Carla Esparza. I want to hear what you think a little bit about her. Give me, give me a couple of her strengths. Well, Carla is a she's a very good wrestler. That's her. That's her base. And she comes out of Colin Oyama's gym. She's got Jiva Santana working on her submissions. And she's a sponge as far as learning everything that it takes to be that complete mixed martial artist. And so she's taking that wrestling background, she's getting the striking that she needs and the technical aspects from Colin Oyama, and she's getting the submission game through Jiva Santana. She's just getting better and better as it goes. And uh, you know, I've refereed several of Carla's fights. She's just uh, she's a grinder. She brings it to girls and she goes after them. And you can't, you can't ask any more of a fighter than someone that she goes out there. Every time she goes out there, she goes out to win and she brings it. you got to bring your A game to try to beat her. Yeah, she's tough. She's tough. If you guys haven't seen her, you got to watch this. Okay, well, she's fighting against uh, Claudia Gadella. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to ask you about, uh, about what you think about the matchup, but I am going to ask you about a couple of good things about Gadella because I know she's talented too. Wow, she's a, I mean, Claudia is, she's dynamic. That's the one thing, you know, you look at a lot of fighters and there's, there's differences in all fighters and there's just those ones that they do certain things and they just tend to do it better than put other it together, people do. Yeah. They, they just have that ability, that coordination, whatever it is, they're able to take something and make it just that much better than I could ever make it. And that's what Claudia brings when she fights. She's undefeated. She is very well rounded in everything. And, you know, she's undefeated for a reason is that she just brings it in the fight and just technically overcomes everybody that she's been put against so far. Will she be able to do that with Carla? And that's what makes it a great fight. Absolutely. Well, you, you heard John here. He said better than he could put it together. <laughs> so he's saying that Gadella would, would basically whoop uh, You know, you got to be honest about that. <laughs> so, so that's a really great matchup we've got with, uh, with Esparza and Gadella. There's another matchup here. Um, I want to ask you some good things about, uh, about these guys. Um, we've got Shayna Bar... Baszler? Baszler, sorry. Shayna Baszler. And, uh, Shayna's tough. I've already heard you talk some good things about her. Let, let's hear some of that. You know, Shayna Baszler, is, she is a true mixed martial arts. She has got good stand-up, she's got good wrestling, and she's got phenomenal submissions. She, you know, she trains out of, uh, well, trains with Eric Paulson and Josh Barnett and stuff, and she is just the overall complete package as a, a mixed martial arts fighter. And, you never know what she's going to do in the fight. You can think you have an understanding of where she wants to go with something, and then she'll pull something else out. She's she's fought the very best there is. She's fought Chris Santos. She's fought Sarah McMahon. She's been in the cage with the very best of the female, you know, the, the very best female fighters there are. She's been in with the only one, if you want to say, you know, that's top right now, Ronda Rousey. And that fight someday could absolutely happen. She's sure. Baszler and Ronda, and that would be an interesting fight. Well, you see, she's down. got a lot of fights. I mean, 15 and 7 is a record right yeah, now. Yeah, a, lot, know, of and a lot of those seven losses, you know, 
Chris Santos, she lost it. She lost to Sarah McMahon in a decision. It was a very close fight. I did the fight. I mean, it was absolutely a back and forth where, you know, Shayna had her moments where she absolutely was doing better than Sarah, and there was moments where Sarah was doing better than Shayna. Sure. And, and you, you look at a loss, a loss in MMA is not the same as a loss in boxing. Right. You know, when we talk about MMA fighters, be it men or women, they are putting it on the line against other quality opponents all the time. And in boxing, we get these guys, and you know, they're getting built up. And we're putting, I hate to say it, but we're putting guys that we say are, you know, cans or tomato cans against them to build those 20 and 0 records. And then I'll finally start to put them against somebody who's real. Well, Shayna Baszler has been fighting real people her entire career. Time. And she's got a 15 and 7 record, and she's a phenomenal fighter. Nice, nice. Well, she's going to be fighting a, a tough one, too. I mean, we've got Alexis Davis in here. And again, I'm not going to ask you about the prediction, but I am going to ask you about something uh, uh, about Davis. I know you know all these fighters well. Tell well, me a little bit about know, Davis. Alexis Davis, she's tough. And, and she, comes, she comes after you. And she, she's one of those ones that she will, she's going to take a shot to give a shot. Because uh. she looks at it that, you know what, I hit harder than you do. I'm the one that can take this. And she makes fights into fights. Nice. She sometimes gets out of that technical aspect and just says, I'm just going to come after you and beat you down. Just and so she's just a very tough, physical girl. She's got good stand-up. She's got decent ground. When you look at the difference in them, there are differences in both of them comparatively. That's what makes it a really good matchup. Yeah, well, it looks like this entire card is, is just stacked with great matchups. We can't cover them all, but, I mean, Invicta is really putting together some awesome cards. And I know, John, you're actually refing at this next Invicta, I, right? I do get to uh, work at the next show. And there's other girls, you know, Amanda Nunes is on there. She is great. I mean, there's so many good female fighters out there that people, if they get to watch them, they're going to fall in love with watching them because the one thing that the women do... Man, they bring it. They come after each other, and I, you just don't see those girls in the sport of MMA doing sometimes what the men do as far as just trying to eke out that win. They are usually going after that it's victory all or nothing. of, I want the KO, I want the KO, I want the submission, and that's what they're going after. That's nice. what makes it fun. That makes for, makes for a great thing to watch. It's really, really awesome. Well, John, once again, thanks a lot. You guys heard it here. John's got some great insight on these girls. This is Invicta, number four, and it's coming up here in January. Gotta watch it. Should be a great show. Awesome. Thanks a lot, John. Thank you.